It's time to take you on a zip trip. This week we are in Greenville. From the history to the food, we're showing you what makes this city so special. Our Fred Cunningham is joining us live from outside the Greenville Drive Stadium on South Main Street with more. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Sibila. A great morning here in Greenville in a city that while it's on the build as we've seen over the years, it hasn't always been the booming area that you see today. Now it is one of the fastest growing cities in the country, but as our Ayla Ferrone tells us, it's also a city with a rich history that still lives on. John Nolan is an expert when it comes to the history of downtown Greenville. All right. So the Huguenot Mill here, this is, uh, that was the third mill in downtown Greenville, uh, built in 1882. He gives historical tours of the area, showing off some of the oldest buildings, like the cottage home, which was built in 1896. It was a, started out as a residence, as the supervisor for the Camperdown Mill, and then it became a gas station. It's the oldest standing home still on Main Street. As far as Greenville's history goes back, more recent establishments hold just as much importance. So, uh, Peace Center that cannot be underestimated for its role in the revitalization of Greenville. And although the history is rich up and down the main street of Greenville, it all started right here in Court Square. All these red bricks around us right here at Court Square. This has been preserved since then. Originally called the village of Pleasantburg at Greenville Courthouse, what we now know as Greenville was established in 1797. And some well-known businesses now stand in buildings dating back to the beginning. Uh, that's the oldest building on Main Street. Once a dry goods store, Sobe Southern Cuisine is now one of downtown's hot spots, and the Poinsett Hotel is approaching its 100th birthday. These two taller buildings <clears throat> are from 1925 and uh, that was the roaring 20s and we were we were flush with money from the textile industry mills expanding all around town the textile and mill history in greenville is crucial to today's growth not to be forgotten those industries have even been etched in stone on the original courthouse from 1918. if you look at the columns mm -hmm. towards the bottom of them there's some carved cylindrical rods and those represent spindles from the textile machinery. And then drooping down from the scrolls in the capitals are pairs of cotton balls from the cotton plant. So the next time you're on Main Street, look around, learn from, and take in all the history that has brought Greenville to today. In Greenville, a Laferone, 7 News. If you'd like to learn more about Greenville's history, Nolan gives tours, walking tours, bus tours, even food tours. You can find out about him and how to get one of those trips around Greenville to learn about the many, many years here just by going to this story on WSPA.com. We are live at Floor Field for our zip trip. We'll be here all morning until 9 a.m., so come out and see us. All right, sounds good. You had me at food tours, by the way. <laughs> also next here on 7 News, uh, we have a lot more from Greenville. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the city in this special zip trip edition of 7 News this morning. We'll be right